Hello friends and welcome back to another showdown special on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we're going to continue on with this Rayquaza Xerneas team that we've been playing all week so far. So we haven't changed anything up from our last episode. Things that we did change originally from the start of the week was the Waterfall to Earthquake. We haven't really made much use of that, so there's definitely that is up for debate on whether what we put there. We could even put Dragon Claw there. It might be a nice option just to, to have there instead uh, but I don't know, I'm not really too keen on Dragon Claw myself, but uh, it's definitely an option to think about there. Um, or even Brick Break, Brick Break could be quite good, I'm just looking at it. Uh, just for stack attacker damage, because otherwise we're not really being able to do very much and in those last ditch turns. Uh, it could be quite nice, you know. Uh, let's give it a go for today. Let's see what Brick Break is like. It's probably going to be terrible, but uh, we'll change it up there. Serena, uh, Gastrodon, we're keeping there. Uh, Xerneas, Incineroar, and Tapu Koko. So, the only other thing I would maybe consider is putting a Wikiberry possibly on Gastrodon here. Um, but we'll stick with how it is. The Expert Belt does some nice damage. Uh, the team's been doing well so far this week, so we'll hop into it. As always, the team is down in the description below and if you do enjoy this sort of content please drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel as well for more Pokemon content we'll have guides metagame analysis and our daily battle series back in the next week so we'll be hitting the ultra series again pretty hard uh, in the next couple of weeks we'll be back with streams on twitch as well so lots of pokemon content coming out to help you guys get back into the ultra series after the claws of uh, the season just passed uh, the past few weeks so yeah it's gonna be fun and if you've got any preference on teams that you'd like to see played obviously do, do comment down below and uh, I'll make sure to try and cover as much uh, as possible going forward now we've got our next team up it is going to be Groudon, Dirtina, uh, supporting cast of Bishop, um, Niligo, Jumpluff and the Mawal so requires are going to be really important for us here you know um, it's annoying that we haven't got the uh, earthquake anymore especially for that nine legal typical isn't it <laughs> it really is um but Ray is going to be good here. I think Xerneas is actually all right there's two steel types in nine legal though that do give us a lot of problems oh it's always the way when you drop the earthquake the earthquake would have been magnificent here um uh, really would have been especially helping out earthquake um, but never mind uh, we'll go with Ray Serena I think uh, Gastrodon going to be really good here um, and probably Intimidate going to be very useful um, we're quite weak to Nihiliga though especially without that Earthquake <laughs> that would have been so good uh, so we are going to see the Jump Bluff come out for uh, my opponent in one I think the thing to do here would just be faint uh, Dragon Ascent we don't want to allow it to do anything disrupt and uh, it's, um, it is a bit of a problem Pokemon Obviously, it does have chlorophyll, but as soon as that delta stream goes up, it's fine. Uh, we do see substitute come out from the Groudon. Uh, I mean, I don't mind that too much. It's it's better than taking huge damage onto Serena. Depends what kind of build this this Groudon is as well. Uh, this is where the Brick Break could have come in quite useful. Uh, we'll switch into Gastrodon here. We'll go for a U-turn out into the Bishop. Hopefully, we can get the U-turn off with Serena instead of. Okay, we're going to see the bishop switch straight out, fire punch, and this is why this Serena is just like a boss, because it is calced to take that fire punch from Primal Groudon, which is always very useful. Um, now we could get our Requaza back in, or do we keep it for later on? Maybe bring it back in now, get rid of this Giratina, I think. Uh, a banded Dragon Ascent will get the Giratina to be honest and we can just go for that nice earth part into the Groudon, get rid of that sub and uh, we're sitting pretty happy at this this point in time. Uh, Dragon Ascent into Giratina, ooh it does survive, it's going to get the Tailwind, it does get the Tailwind up uh, as the earth part, just a little bit um, awkward but we'll go for that earth power again, we'll switch into Incineroar now, get requires that out of harm's way for the time being. Precipice Blades coming out, uh, not ideal, uh, and Draco Meteor, so I don't mind that too much, the drop there, useful, and we are able to get rid of this sub on the Groudon. Um, Ray makes the most sense to come back in here, although we've got to worry about that. Um, the Draco Meteor, to be honest, and then the, uh, the Bishop's going to be a bit awkward to deal with as well. We'll go for an Ice Beam into Giratina. Um, what's the 
precipice blades is gonna get us though, that's the problem. Can we take a Draco Meteor minus two from Giratina? I wanna say yes and go for a Dragon Ascent into Groudon, really. It might be better doing that. Let's go for it. Okay, we're gonna see Bishop switch in. Precipice Blades it does miss the Gastrodon, so we get a little bit fortunate there. Yeah, we get rid of the Groudon now. And uh, get a nice tasty ice beam into the Bishop. Um, still not, still not easy for us at all. Uh, I'll go for the Ice Beam into the Giratina. I'll switch our Ray into Serena. We need to get rid of this last turn of Tailwind. Um, the Giratina. If we can get the Giratina here with Ice Beam, that makes things a lot easier. Hopefully we see the Bishop maybe go for a Sucker Punch. That would be ideal, because that means it's not doing anything. But it goes for the insur Assurance Shadow Force, which it misses, which is... Pretty awkward to be honest. Um, there's no point in protecting here. Uh, we can go for a U-turn into the Bishop. We might end up losing this one. There's another assurance and uh, Shadow Force will be enough. Yeah. And this is gonna be tricky because what do we lock into here? Um, crunch is gonna be no good. And I don't expect the Dragon Ascent to get the Bishop in two turns. Yeah, sucker punch. Now another Sucker Punch probably gets us after this drop, well definitely two does, um, and we're locked in now so there's not really much we can do, unless this takes down the Bishop. Oh, we get it with a critical hit! <laughs> okay, excellent, good game to my opponent and we'll we'll take that. Uh, we probably would have lost that to be honest. Um, Giratina, Bishop, a nice combination there. Could have done a little bit more maybe to to get around that. We've got Ray Ogre up next. And quite a standard kind of Ray Ogre looking team. We've got the Spawncast, Cortana, Coco, Incineroar, and Finny. Um Could we go could we go Xerneas here? I don't know. Like Cortana, Finny kind of put me off a little bit with that, but at the same time I think Xerneas yeah, I'm gonna just go down this route, really. I'm gonna bring the Xerneas in here. We haven't played it for a little while, so we'll go down this route with it, see how we can get on, if we can get this Geomancy up, um, and play that old trump card of ours with the, uh, the switch in. Oh, we're not gonna see the Incineroar come out for my opponent, so maybe if this Coco hasn't got... If the Coco hasn't got... Um, Haunt, then we're, we're sitting all right, I think, at the moment. Uh, we're going to still detect, and yeah, we maybe would have been better going for that Coco. Nature's Madness, okay. We do get the Geomancy, though, which is nice. Um, I think what we'll do, protect this turn, we'll go for a U-turn into the Cartana, though. Because uh, I think the Cartana's probably got the Sash um, Leaf Blade as well. Um, and I want to be able to, to get rid of it the next turn. We'll bring in Ray now. Uh, we've got Dazzle and we'll Mega Evolve. And no, I don't want Dragon Ascent. We'll Dazzle and we'll go Mega Evolve and Extreme Speed into the Coco. Just to kind of cover a Sash there as well, I would expect. Unless the Cortana is. Well, the Cortana is definitely not Salt Vest, so the Dazzle should pick up the knockout there. Um, here we go. Bada bing. Bada boom! Okay. Uh, Pose and Ray might come in now. Probably does threaten with extreme speed, but I mean, the other thing we can do at this point is just go for a Dazzling Gleam Incineroar switch, get the Intimidate onto the Pose and Ray. We're going to chunk the Kyogre nicely anyway, regardless whatever happens here. Uh, there's the extreme speed, just making sure with that Intimidate, get the Ray, chunk the Kyogre. Uh, Water spout, nowhere near enough, and uh, we're going to be able to just close it up. Shell and Xerneas doing his thing. So, good game to my opponent, and uh, we'll move straight on. So, I think with you the, using the Xerneas, it's about identifying when it's a good time to play and when it's not. And I think as the format went on, Xerneas has not really been the most ideal Pokemon to bring because of everyone knowing how much of a threat it is and countering it and bringing all these texts to deal with it. Um, but I feel like there's an there's a, there's maybe an opportunity in the format like now at the minute where Xerneas can be really useful again where players aren't maybe preparing for it as much because it's not seen as much. Um, although saying that James Beck obviously is the uh, the the Xerneas the reindeer master um, and got third at Worlds with it, so it's still shown that it is relevant and very powerful in the format. Um, okay. 
So we've got Dawn Wings and Groudon, Feramosa, um, hmm, very little Intimidate, uh, but I think, yeah, we the Lele could be scarfed here, it would make sense. We'll bring in Cinero. Um do we want Coco here? It helps us indicate whether the Lele is scarfed or not, I guess. Um, I don't know if I want to go Xerneas, because I feel like Trick Room will come out for my opponent more than anything else. Um, we will go, we'll go with Xerneas, Gastrodon, and we'll go with Ray as well. Okay, so, can Snarl here, 100% Snarl. Uh, we could Geomancy. I don't know if I really want to. Maybe it's better just getting damage off with Xerneas here. Just Dazzle. Um, more coming in. Okay. Magic Room. Trying to catch us out, I think, with a Geomancy, but I'm not going to go for it. Just the threat of Trick Room there is too much for us. Um, okay, the Mowile in. We can Flare Blitz. Um, and I think... Well, we could potentially just go for a Moonblast into Lele. Yeah. Maybe Groudon comes. Maybe Groudon come in. Yeah, Groudon does come in, yeah. Okay. So we get the Lele, we'll get some decent damage onto this Groudon as well. Uh, gotta remember that our items aren't uh, very useful right now. So I think we'll switch in Rail we'll Protect Zern here. Uh, we haven't got the band at the minute, so we need to remember that. Um, Play Rough could come out into that Incineroar slot for sure. But now we're going to see it into the Xerneas slot. Again, the Earthquake would be incredibly useful here, wouldn't it? Uh, we don't have the band at the minute, which is a little bit of a problem. Um, earthquake, like I say, would be incredibly good right now. Um, it might be worth switching Gastrodon. Pulling a double. Do we pull a double switch though? I don't know if I really want to. Maybe I just go for a Dragon Ascent into the Groudon and pull Incineroar in on this side. Just get an Intimidate onto both of these attackers. We'll probably lose Ray here. I'm going to get a crit there, which is pretty nice, but uh, Rock Tomb, wow. And Okay, play Ref into the Incineroar, which is fine. Um, now we've kind of got everything covered here with the Flare Blitz into the more wild Dragon Ascent. And I think even without... Ooh. How is that Groudon? The, oh, the Rock Tomb, of course, not taking that into consideration. That's a bit... Uh, yeah, that's not very clever by ourselves, is it? Um, hmm. we got Geomancy, cheeky Geomancy, and uh, Earth Power here. Ooh, Ultra Necrozma, okay. I think we take this with Gastrodon. Yeah. It's whether or not we can take an Iron Head. Can we? Oh, it goes play rough. Okay, I mean, we should win this one now. Uh, we can go Moonblast into the Mowile. And then we can get the Dawn Wings after this. It's going to go into Z move, but I mean, take this all day long. And uh, yeah, we're going to be able to wrap this one up. And uh, my opponent, yeah, good game, sir. And uh, we'll hop into our next one straight away. We've still got time for plenty more matches here this week. And like I say, I think if we get up to 1500 by the end of the week with this series, with this team, it's it's been pretty successful. It's a team I really like. It's a core that I'm pretty comfortable with anyway. It's just one that I really do like exploring a bit more. But we've got our next opponent here playing an X-Ray team of their own, Incineroar, Crobat, Coco and Celestia. So not that dissimilar from what we're using. Um, Coco going to be magnificent in this match, I will say that. So I'm going to bring Coco, I think Serena as well as the lead, Incineroar in the back, and um, hmm. we bring Ray or Xerneas here. <sighs> Ray's probably better, isn't it? Hmm. Um, what's that? I don't know, I don't know. I got Ray. I got Ray. I got Ray. It's hard to decide sometimes. I want to bring both really to this match. We're going to see Rayquaza. We're going to see Crowbat come out for my opponent. Um, same time, I want to go for that Twinkle Tackle again. And maybe a helping hand this time rather than the feint. Like, does the Ray. The Ray's going to be Assault Fest. Let's go helping hand. Twinkle Tackle. 
Don't care what the Crobat's gonna do. Bye bye, Rayquaza. Yeah, let's do that. Let's forget about the faint into the Ray. Xerneas probably comes in now. This is the annoying thing. It's gonna get its Geomancy off, which is a little bit unfortunate. Let's go for a Volt Switch and a Power Whip into that Xerneas just because we want to get damage off onto it to put it into um, extreme speed range from our Rayquaza when it does hit the field. Uh, we'll bring in Incineroar initially here because we've got the fake out support there that we can utilize. Uh, Power Whip doing some nice damage and that's what we want. That is what we want here. Let's go fake out. Um, what do we go faint and snarl? I think fake out's probably better and then a U-turn on the Crobat. Ah, uh, you see, we could have went for it. Okay, but that's that's fine. Uh, super fine. Yeah, and then we can get... Oh, did we get rain? I think Xerneas might be just out of range from an extreme speed now. <sighs> this is where the, the helping hand would have been really useful. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think a little bit of a misplay from our side. From our end, I think it would have been better to U-turn with Incineroar, or predict the protect there, and, and keep Serena on the field. So we've got that extreme speed, helping out extreme speed this, this turn. Um, okay, let's go for Flare Blitz and Mega Evolve extreme speed into Zone. Hopefully, we get it anyway. But I just feel like we're going to miss out just a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't seem going to be enough to clear the field there. And uh, although we're still not in the worst position, because Faint will get the Xerneas, Thunderbolt will get the Crobat. So if we win the speed tie here, we can still close this one up. Um, and then what have they got left? Come on, oh, we miss out, come on, ah, oh, okay. That's a bit heartbreaking for us. Very good game to my opponent though. Ah, that's a shame, okay, yeah. Uh, like I say, the, the problem there was, I think, Predicting the protect and then keeping the Serena on the field so we had the help in hand extreme speed that would have locked the game for us there And we just did a little bit of a misplay, but uh, We live and we learn don't we so we've got an next opponent up really nice team really nice team I always like the look of these uh, Rayquaza Dusk main teams Incineroar, Tough Goku, Persian and Nihiligo um, It's hard for Xerneas to get any kind of traction in this game, but if we could get a Geomancy up, I think we could do some work. The Nihiligo, and you know what? You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to change this stupid Brick Break. It was such a dumb idea in the first place, back to Earthquake. Uh, so we've got that for the rest of the other games that we play. Um, and oh my god, I am so sorry if there is drilling right now. It is my neighbours doing work, and uh, this is terrible. Um, so I do apologize for any drilling right now. We are gonna have to just put it. Ah oh, man, come on. My opponent's got the timer on. So hopefully you can hear me all right. It's it's a bit annoying that they're doing this right now. We'll lead with Incineroar. We'll try Xerneas. Uh... Oh, do I bring Ray? Do I bring Ray? Expecting maybe the Nihiligo lead. Um, I'm gonna bring Ray for sure. And I think Coco as well. So we're going to see Nihiligo. It's not the best for us at all. Like, literally. <laughs> Couldn't be any worse. Um, okay, I think we're going to have to switch into... It does open the door for my opponent to go for the Trick Room here with the, the Dusk Man. They're going to switch it out into Incineroar, so that's fine. We'll get a fake out into Nihiligo. Um, now... Do you think we're probably gonna have to? <sighs> we could lock into Earthquake for sure. I just don't think we're gonna get it off. We could Snarl, Mega Evolve, and Earthquake. Oh, we've not got it, have we? We're gonna have to Dragon Ascent into the Nihiligo, I think. Try and get rid of the Nihiligo. Yeah. Power Gem. Oh, it's into Insin, so that Assault Vest coming in really useful there for us. Do you get the. Um, <clears throat> the snarl off as well, which is useful. So we can U turn out, I think, on the opposing Incineroar. We'll switch back into Xerneas here, because I don't imagine an Ilego sticking around. It might switch out now. Um, or protect. Yeah, switching out to rear. U turn. 
which is fine. I kind of prefer them to go for the U-turn first anyway. In most situations, it's, it kind of works out a little bit better uh, than the Crosma coming back in. And uh, now we'll be able to get Coco onto the field. And uh, this is all right, because we can go Twinkle Tackle and bring in Incineroar for our Xerneas. Um, how good with the Earthquake? Uh, earthquake has been one of those things, and uh, yeah, I do apologize for the drilling once again. It's, uh, it's like the worst timing of this recording, so I'm super sorry. I'll, I'll listen back, see how bad it is. Hopefully it's not as bad on the actual recording as it is with me sitting here right now. It might not be. Uh, since you'll strike into Incineral. Um, Alright, let's see what we can do. Uh, Volt switch into the Nine Ego, and I think we're probably better off going for a U-turn into... Or maybe switching. Maybe switching into Rayquaza here with our, our Incineroar there. Oh, we're going to see Alternate Crosma. Uh, we do skedaddle here with the Coco and we'll bring in Incineroar on the Coco slot here. Photon Geyser into that slot would be really nice. Earth Power, uh, even better, and Power Gem, yeah, not too bad at all. Um, okay, we can fake out the Necrozma and we can go for a Dragon Ascent into... Huh, do we double into the Necrozma though? That's the question. Or do we just go for the Nihiligo? I feel like Nihiligo is a good one to go for here, just because we can get rid of it and it does help our uh, Xerneas and our Coco out in the back immensely. The Rayquaza is going to be a pain to deal with, um, but now it's Ultra Necrozma. We've got to wor worry about the Z-move. Uh, 100%. We are locked into Dragon Ascent though, which is a little bit of a pain and it? it's not really anything I want to switch in in the back. That's the problem. Um, hmm. Could we just snarl? We could bring in Tapu Koko for Ray. Might be better. Uh, let's snarl and bring in Koko for Ray. So I imagine Zemu is going to come out here. Maybe Extreme Speed as well. Z move into Coco. Yeah. And what's this? Oh, Soul Stance. Okay. We've got the Snarl off, which is decent, but at the same time, we might have to win a speed tie against the opposing Ray. Could we get Xerneas in? And it's going to extreme speed us for sure. We've got to extreme speed the Ray. I think that's the, the big problem here. But if we can pivot in, like if we lose our Ray here, it's not the worst. Because we've got fake out Geomancy that we can potentially go for this next turn, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do it now. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. We can protect, we can bring in our Incineroar. Uh, we'll lose our Incineroar, <clears throat> but we do get our Ray back in after this, and maybe the opposing Ray is in extreme speed range. From that initial damage after the Intimidate there, we might be able to, to do this. It's going to be really close to close this out on this one today, but we'll see. And hopefully the intermittent drilling stops in between turns now. So there's a protect from the Xerneas. Fake out into our Incineral and Dragon Ascent into the Xerneas. Now we do have an opportunity now to go for the Geomancy and um, fake out. Depends what this Incineral is. If it's got roll, <clears throat> that would be really bad for us. But at the same time, I think the problem is though, yeah, the Flare Blitz from the opposing Incineral into our Xerneas, which is, yeah, the big big issue here I think um, yeah and now we're definitely in extreme speed range but what we could possibly do is switch in our Rayquaza for Incineroar <clears throat> and see what my opponent goes for here the extreme speed makes sense uh, U-turn and then we're going to see uh, the Necrozma come back in can we take an extreme speed from the Ray on neutral 27% probably does that. Or can we get the ray with our own ray from this range? It's risky. Let's go for the dazzle and let's go for the extreme speed into the ray. Okay, we're not going to get it now. Nah. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, this is this is, this is difficult now um, because I think we have to double the. Do we go fake out and then extreme speed the ray? probably the best thing to do fake out fake out uh, it's not the best way to do it but um, I don't know if we've got enough to actually deal with the incineral now which is the biggest problem I think for us going forward in this match because I think we can probably handle the Rayquaza pending everything goes okay 
and the Ultra and Crossmar, it's the Incineroar that I'm worrying about now. It's got so much health. Um, and maybe we would have been better switching in our Incineroar uh, to take the extreme speed with Xerneas rather than going for. Do we get it? Do we get it? We get it. Uh, oh, we just miss out. And it's Berry Requaza. Okay, we're getting punished here. So, very good game to my opponent. That is going to be that, I think, now. Berry Requaza Sword Stance. Man, that is insane. So, that is going to be the end of this one. Hopefully, my opponent just clicks in. Come on, let's do this. Uh, very good game to my opponent. Nice team as well. Like I said at the start, I really like the build, the composition of my opponent's team. I don't know why the chat stopped there, but uh, good game to my opponent. Um, not the greatest result there to end us on, but we'll end it there. We'll come back tomorrow, finish up the week with the team, see how we get on, and uh, hopefully we can finish on a little bit of a high. So, I'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in, my friends, and I'll see you for the next one.